It was an emotionally overwhelming day in the Supreme Court trial of Jair Flores, once accused for the double murder of seven-year-old Tyler Savory and his cousin Portion Pipersburg. At the end of trial on Monday, Flores was freed of the charge due to the lack of concrete evidence presented by the Crown in the criminal matter. It was a sad reality for Tyler's mother, Shakira Young, because two and a half years after her son was viciously murdered on Daly Street, she had to relive the horrific details of his murder shared by a witness in court. I wept and I said, God, this feels like they're killing my son all over again. It feels, the, the pain felt like, like it was happening all over again. And so when I left, I said, I asked my mom to just give me some time to collect myself because it was something for me that brought up so much emotion. And there and then, I said to myself, Shakira, no, you've gone through this affliction all the way. Young says that the loopholes in the testimony and the strength of the evidence submitted to the court led to the decision made by Justice Colin Williams in a post on social media following the decision. And then again this morning, Young wrote on behalf of her son, saying that she believes that the police department and the DPP's office failed her. While I sat in the courtroom and, and I'm speaking from the morning, I, I noticed... Um, some discrepancies when it came to one, the, the police department of um, how things could have been handled differently and um, where I think that more responsibility should have been put in place to ensure that um, the, the statements that were admitted as evidence could have been something substantial and it would support the conviction, but um, it wasn't. And so when I saw that, I was like, okay, then let's wait and see what happens next. That was very discouraging to me because I said, man, this is my son and, and this is my only child and isn't this something important to you? And when he was later asked a question, um, did you ask any of your, your officers below you or the officer in charge? anything regarding to the, the case or what was the possible statements admitted, who was the other witnesses and stuff. He was like, no, I did not, with, with a blank face. And I was like, could you put yourself in, in the parent's shoes to think that what if that was your child? Wouldn't you want some sense of urgency to be placed um, on, on your child's case? And so I sat there and my heart sank. While Young says she was holding on to the hope of for a conviction in an effort to get closure for her son's murder, she has forgiven Flores. From since 2017, we've already founded the, the Tyler Saver Foundation. And so that is, that is running. Um, as of recent, I've decided to launch, um, with the grace of God, I've decided to launch a support group. It's a group that's, the, the name is Beauty for Ashes. I decided to name it that because one, it's scriptural, and two, that is what I truly want to see for the women of belief, um, us, the women who have lost our children, the women who have lost our loved ones, to gun violence, that we make something beautiful out of the ashes that we've been given, that we're at our lowest. You are at your lowest, not having your child ever coming home again. And I could recall telling somebody, my son has left and he hasn't come home for two and a half years. And so when I said that to the person, the person left blank because there was possibly no response that the person could have given me to say, it's going to be okay. Dwayne Moody for News 5.